Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. So Sunday's come around again, so car boot day. Didn't really get much of the car boot today. It was a bit rainy, so wasn't really much for sale. But I did manage to go to an antique fair yesterday and I got a few bits there as well. So we should have enough for a half decent video today. But yeah, we'll start off, we'll start small today and work our way up big. So starting off small, I uh, saw a coin man yesterday at the antique fair. He had a big box of coins for 10 quid. There wasn't much in there though. So I picked through and I found myself six euros and just a standard little other coin that I thought was a euro, which is not. But yeah, so we've got six euros here and I only paid two pound for that. So that's a pretty good exchange rate there. So two pounds, six euros. I'll keep that when I go on holiday next. I think to myself, oh, that drink only cost me two quid. A nice cocktail or something. But yeah, we've got that to start. Up next, little ring box, ring display box. Paid three pound for this. I thought it would come in handy for when I need to get rid of some of the rings and sell them. But yeah, all in nice condition. Just needs a little bit of a clean, really. Only paid three pound for it. So I could probably sell it on its own for a fiver, but it will come in handy for selling rings in the future, maybe even storing rings. But yeah, for three pound, quite a good buy. Up next, got a nice little job lot of silver. Just move it down a bit. Ooh, so we can have a closer look. So I've got this from the antique fair. There's a little job lot of silver items. We'll start off with the pen, or well, the pencil, shall I say? This little silver pencil, marked 25. We've got written on the back, sterling silver. I think up on the top, I don't know if we'll be able to see it, if the camera will focus or not, but we've got written just here, sterling silver. I think it's long life. I think it's just, we've got sterling silver and long life written on there. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, probably barely. We'll just make out long life there. And sterling silver, zoom in a little bit. There you go, you can see the silver there. Sterling silver written there. But yeah, it works, so we twist the top. And then we've got some lead. It doesn't twist back in very well, but a little bit of a push it does. So yeah, quite a nice little item. Sadly got a little ding in it, but still a solid silver pencil, quite a nice thing. Up next, just some little uh, sugar tongs with like bird feet. It's the pincers. Nice, 20 pound he had on that. Uh, Birmingham 1928 is the hallmark. So when you're buying silver, you want to look for the hallmarks. And there they are there. I think it's is it an anchor for Birmingham. I think it is. I could be wrong. But yeah, there we go. Some little sugar tongs. And last but not least, just little three pence, silver three pence. He had 150 on that. So he had 150, 20, 25. So that was £46.50 he wanted. And I got them down to £30 for the lot, which is quite a good deal, really. I think I could sell it for some money, but to be honest, it's going to go in my silver collection for now. Hopefully when silver prices shoot up, I'll be able to sell it for a bit more money. But yeah, there's that little bundle. I think that's the majority of our smalls done. Oh, wait. Also bought some shoes. I don't normally buy shoes, trainers. I'm more of a boots man myself, but I thought about the time I got myself some half-decent trainers. Paid £5 for these. I believe that they're just knock-off uh, flight Jordans. But still, they look the part. They're absolutely lovely to wear, completely comfy. They're in nice condition. don't think they're barely worn. I don't think they're real, though. Got a tag on the inside there. Yeah, I don't think these are real, because they were going to cost me a fiver. And if they were real, they would have cost me a lot more money. Well, the bloke who's selling them would have knew anyway. But yeah pretty good condition i've worn them out today really comfy and that's them all right that's so we're going to zoom out We've got the big buy today's big buy anyway so managed to buy a set of golf clubs that's today's big buy and it's where today's money is really starting off we've got the golf bag not in the best condition but still quite a nice golf bag We've got an umbrella holder here, 
down here I quite like. You've got a cool holder to keep your drink cold down there. It's quite good. It's also fun going through the pockets when you get these golf bags because you never know what you're going to find. Sadly, I didn't find any golf balls. I mainly found, I think it's the pocket the most stuff in really. I mainly found some tees and a pencil. But I did also find, where is it? I took it out just a second ago. I found myself 5p. It's already making some money back. And also found a badge. I love bum sex. Absolutely priceless in my opinion. <laughs> ah, stick it on someone's back on a night out. But yeah, that's our bag there. Paid £30 for this lot of gold stuff. So up next, we'll start with these ones. Mainly just irons in the bag, but they're quite nice irons. So start off, we've got these Mizuno Tezoid. Sadly, not a full set, but still what we got. Pitching wedge, three iron, eight iron, seven iron. So not too bad, all in fairly good condition, just need a really good clean. Shafts are good, handles are good. So that little bundle there, maybe 25 pound, 15 pound, maybe 15 to 25 I'll say. Start off at 25 and see what I can get. But yeah, we've got those there. And then where the money is, is in these irons. Sadly not a full set, but close enough. So we got a three iron to eight iron there, Mizuno oversize Zoid. T Zoid there. But yeah, this is where the money is really online, a full set, you're looking about 120, 150 pound. So these here, I'm gonna say I'm gonna start them off at 65 and see what happens, see what I can get for them online. But yeah, that's where the money is really. Should be able to definitely double my money on this 35 pounds for the whole set Ooh, i'll probably chuck the bag in i've got loads of odds and sods gold clubs and try and get rid of it in a minute so i'll chuck the bag in with that and that'll help uh i'll probably get an offer probably on the pitching wedge out of the t soid set here and see what i can get to the others and then these here hopefully 65 i'm going to list them for but probably end up getting about 60 to 50 to 60 pound i'd say for them but yeah, there we have it. Those are today's carpet buys. Oh, a few bits and pieces. Some comfy shoes for me. Some silver for the pile. A few euros for holiday. And a lovely little badge. But yeah, there we have it. Today's carpet buys. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like as it helps me out. Also, if you're new to my channel, you haven't seen any of my other videos, go check them out. Got tons of car boot videos on there. I've picked up tons of different golf clubs before. Some lot better ones than these. Made some real money off them. Golf trolleys, stuff like that if you're interested in golf. Loads of silver buys as well if you want to check those out. But yeah, for today, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and hopefully I'll see you in one of my future videos. Bye for now.